Kyoto. The very name evokes all that is finest in Japanese art and culture. Japan's ancient capital has a history stretching back over 1,200 years and is still home to a host of living traditions. Many of the city's famous gardens, temples, and shrines are World Heritage Sites. Kyoto is Japan's premier tourist destination, with over 40 million visitors a year. It's very traditional. It's different from the other parts of Japan. The nature that's in Kyoto and the water. Mm. Absolutely beautiful. Here's a few simple tips to help you enjoy Kyoto at your own pace. The city of Kyoto stands more or less at the center of Japan. From Tokyo, it takes just two and a half hours by bullet train. Your first stop should be the tourist information office. Conveniently located inside Kyoto Station, they have all the information you'll need, including stacks of free pamphlets in many languages. Okay. Just ask the friendly staff and they'll help you with advice on anything from accommodation to the best ways for getting around the city. First, you'll need a place to stay. Naturally, there is an extensive choice of excellent hotels. But why not go for a taste of the real Japan and try one of Kyoto's budget-priced guest houses? For around 2,500 yen a night, or about 20 U.S. dollars, you can get a shared room in a traditional old wooden house. That's three to five times less expensive than a regular hotel. Prices may be low, but there are often amenities like internet access. Or a cozy coffee shop where you can make friends with Japanese travelers. Kyoto is quite spread out but transportation is excellent. Your best buy is a one-day pass, which allows unlimited bus and subway travel for the low price of just 1,200 yen, or about 10 US dollars. At around 1,000 yen a day, a rental bicycle is a great way to get around. What to see first? Why not start at the famous Toji Temple? The grounds and contents of this temple were laid out as a physical representation of the Buddhist spiritual universe. This is a kind of three-dimensional mandala, a message in sculptures and pictures from thousands of years ago. There's so much to learn about these places and you'll usually find an English-speaking volunteer guide to explain their history. Tea houses are a Kyoto tradition, and a bowl of green tea with Japanese sweets makes a refreshing break from sightseeing. Kyoto has always been famous for its delightful streams and rivers, and the sight and sound of running water is still ever-present. Overlooking one of the main rivers is the Shimogamo Shrine, said to be over 2,000 years old. This beautiful edifice is also a World Heritage Site. Within its grounds is a forest of ancient trees, some as many as 600 years old. The beauty of these streams and woods was praised in the tale of Genji. Nishiki Market has been the city's kitchen since as long ago as the 16th century. Here, you can see an amazing variety of traditional foodstuffs, many of them unique to Kyoto. One of Kyoto's most famous traditional crafts is silk weaving. Nishijin cloth is made by hand weaving yarn dyed in different colors to form intricate brocade patterns. At the Nishijin textile center, you can watch weavers at their looms and even have a go at weaving yourself a souvenir.
Kyoto cuisine is famous, but gourmet tastes don't have to mean gourmet prices. Yudofu, blocks of silken tofu simmered in delicate broth, is an affordable dish subtle enough to satisfy the connoisseur. For a taste of the beautiful countryside surrounding Kyoto, spend a day along the wooded valley of the Hozugawa River. The 25-minute ride on this sightseeing train with its open observation cars gives the finest views of this lovely valley. A city as old and rich in tradition as Kyoto has something for everyone. Take our advice and take your time to explore it. Welcome to Kyoto.